Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Balance. On this episode we're playing level 11. If I could sum up a level 11 in two words, it would be plan ahead. This level is fairly difficult. It's definitely one of the challenging levels. It's quite long. Not as long as level 12. And it's a level that is very difficult to play blind simply because there are a lot of places in this level where you kind of need to be aware of what's ahead of you. And um, it's not that easy to kind of see what's ahead of you until you actually play the level. Sometimes you may be able to switch your camera around to see a little ahead of you to see, you know, what you're going to have to deal with in the future. But a lot of the times you can't see that far ahead. So you just kind of have to live and learn and kind of memorize the level as you go along. The first checkpoint was rather straightforward. Um, if you have any questions about that, let me know, but there's not really much to explain there. Just push one of the stone blocks into one of the holes and then get the bonus points and there you go. There are bonus points over here. Um, don't forget about those. Sometimes I wish the transporter would be a little faster, but we can't do anything about that. And this section's pretty uh, easy, but again, it's trial and error. The only way to really know what to do is to kind of play it and then kind of figure it out as you go along. Don't turn into a stone ball there. Um, we'll be fine as a wooden ball for now. Great. Plus you sacrifice the agility as a stone ball. And I'd rather keep the agility. Also take the left path here. If you take the right, you will create a dead end once you flip this open and you won't be able to get back. There we go. Once you've connected those bridges, you're good to go. And don't forget the extra ball. You could turn into a wooden ball there to get the extra ball, but you don't have to. This section is rather fun. Don't forget the extra points there. Now here, build up a little bit of speed, and this part looks a lot worse than it is. Not yet. There we go. We have to do this three times. There we go. Then we also need to go up here. and kind of avoid this transporter here. Whoa, that was a little close. And don't go all the way through or you will screw yourself up. There we go. You won't be able to get back down. And that will not be good if you want to do a good run without dying. Now we've done that. And we've done that. Now here, we need to position this just right so that as a stone ball we can return. Had a lot of practice on this level, actually. I've done a lot of takes on this level. Some I didn't like, some I did like. So I'm trying to live and um, trying to learn a little bit of what I want to do and what I don't want to do, so I can make a good video for you guys. And also discovered some shortcuts along the way. Right. 
Now we'll move again, move forward. This uh, area, this checkpoint, can be a little confusing at first. It's not too terrible. I don't have to get this now, but I'm just going to go ahead and get it to show you it can be done. Here, we've got another switch or platform we need to drop, and we can fortunately do that as a wooden ball. And over here, we can actually drop on the third. Um, by the time you get to the third one, there will be there will be enough residents. Residents said residents, not residents. Residents and those little platforms that you shouldn't have much of a problem getting them. I'm going to get these extra points as well. Absolutely. Let's we'll see if we can avoid these um, extra points. Run away, run away, run away! No, we had to get them to drop the barrier. And I wouldn't take the shortcuts here uh, that I'm doing unless you are really familiar with the game. Obviously we can't drop down there because we'll transform into a wooden ball. We don't want to do that. But we can do that. This next section is rather fun. Um, you'll see why in a moment. A little bit uh, right-handed there. So for some reason it's easier for me to go left here. So I shift the camera. So, go figure. Um, there we go. Alright, here you're going to have to watch out because the railing is actually missing from parts of this. And I'll try to trip you up like that. Here I would move um, like that. I was really close. I would move probably right when it's about to fit, uh, go towards you, like that. Now we get to the final checkpoint. This uh, section is a... it's a bear. You'll see in a moment. You're kind of seeing it come across the screen in the upper right hand part of your screen there. Uh, yeah. We gotta do all of this fun stuff as a stone ball. But it's a nice little challenge. I would slow it down a little bit here. Um, what you've got to do is, um, and there's no bonus points on this thing up there above the ball there, uh, but you do need to kind of um, push these balls into the hole a little bit. This is the hard part. They give you enough balls, but it's kind of difficult to do it. And we got to do it in one more. Come on, go in the hole. There we go. I'm going to do it in two of those. See, that knocks that over. And you see that knocks that over. So there you have it on that. Uh, the next part, really hope I don't screw this up. Easy does it. You can actually probably drop down on the railing by going to the left, but I don't want to do that. It's a little too risky. But it would be a good shortcut. It wouldn't really save you that much. Of course, I hear the bongos, which means... And uh, watch out here. Don't go too far there. What you need to do here is kind of build up a little bit of steam, a little bit of momentum, and knock this out of the way. Um, And of course that needs to be open, so we have to be a newspaper ball to get over there. Just kind of watching it. Only go a certain distance there. Had a little bit of lens flare for some reason. And we can be a newspaper ball over here. 
I think we'll be fine on our score, too. There we go. And we might actually do alright in this level. Whoa. Okay. Now we get to the last part. This isn't too bad. There's just no shortcuts you can really take. And there you have it. Level 11 is now complete. And that took us about 12 minutes, maybe 11 minutes, I think, according to my timer here. Level 11 is pretty nice. I like it. It is challenging. This took me about a dozen takes to get the video that I liked. Uh, fortunately, they're very liberal with the points, so getting first place on this is not a problem. Now, level 12, on the other hand, uh, may take a few more days for me to get a video out for that. Um, it is quite difficult indeed. You'll see why. Um, but hopefully we'll manage to be able to get a good score in that level. We've had enough practice. We've got all, all of our skill set ready. So on the next episode, enjoy it as a uh, well-enjoyed Let's Play Balance. We'll attempt level 12. So thanks again for watching and have a good day. Goodbye.